Hey, how's it going free to play gang? So as promised, let's talk a little bit about how we can create an alt. Okay, so there are several reasons why you want to have an alt. Okay, so the first reason is, yeah, you, you just can't play enough of the game. Your stamina burns out and you just want to play something else. Maybe play with a bunch of different espers that you may not already have on your main account. Or, you know, maybe you just want to reroll on the site. However, you will notice that if you go to your profile and you go to your settings and services and you go to account service, blah, 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 you will not be able to switch accounts. Okay, maybe I just show you, right? Okay, so if you take a look at the top right, um, I can because I've already created an alt, but let's say you click the top right button over there, switch accounts, you will realize that it will say something like you do not have an account on a certain different Gmail account and therefore you cannot actually create a separate account. So there are three ways that you can bypass this and I'll go through all the three ways and which is my favorite pick. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first unorthodox way, which is which is a way that I actually did it for myself in the first place, um, you can actually just go ahead and press and hold on your dislike, right? And click the uninstall button because after uninstalling and then you go back to the Google Play Store and you reinstall dislike, what you realize is that they will ask you to log in with whatever account that you may have or you can actually just link a new account to the starter tutorial account, right? And with that, you can then unlock a new alt, so to speak. So that is the first way, but that requires you to re-download like a few gigabytes worth of data, which is really not recommended. Now, the second way you can create an alternate account is to use an emulator. So you can download like Nox Player or LD Player, or some people even use Bluestacks. So just re-download a new dislike app and create an account from there and link one of your Gmail accounts to that. Or maybe I think Facebook works as well. And that's how you can create an alternate account. And then with an alternate account, you can then just go back to dislike, go to account service, and then you just switch accounts just like that. But of course, the third way is actually my most preferred way is to download an app called Multiple Accounts. So as you can see over here, I do have this app called Multiple Accounts. It is pretty good. So uh, it is ad based and it has like some pay to win function. Like you can pay for a certain amount for a month and you do not get ads. But otherwise, it works tremendously well. So if you go to basically your Google Play Store, or I think iOS might have it as well, uh, click on it. And over at the main screen, you can see that I have this slide over here. So this is actually my second version of this slide. It is basically the same thing, just that it's running on like two different apps, so to speak. I don't really know how to explain it in words, but you can just press the plus button over here, search for whatever app that you want to add, and you can just add it in. It's really straightforward and you can run it. And on your phone, you can have two different variations of the same dislike app. So this is where I run my alt. Of course, you don't have to open this app every single time you want to run a second version of this slide. You can put it on your homepage as well. So you can do it by pressing and hold this slide and you can see the first button at the top, it says home screen. Um, I'm not sure what, what's the rest over there, but that adds this app to the home screen. And I think you can name it as well. So let's try, yeah, you can name it and give it a custom icon as well. So this will be my preferred way of creating an alternate account and to run an alternate account. So you can actually have both of these apps running at the same time and you can just switch between two different apps to play different accounts at the same time. So instead of having to switch between different accounts within the same app all the time, which may be slightly annoying, you can now just open different apps depending on which account you want to play in, which is why I prefer this the most. So that'll be it for this short video. I hope you guys know how to create an alt now. Let me know down in the comments below if you need any more advice or if you think that any of these steps do not actually work for you, let me know. I'll help you out. But with that, this has been free to play by the way. And as always, I will see you in the next video.